This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. It is Saturday, July the 23rd, 2011, and we're going to take a look here at how the market closed for the week ending July the 22nd, and we're going to take a look here at the Nasdaq, and what we see there is that the Nasdaq had a nice week, up about 2.5%, uh, give or take. That's, that's what the, charts look, uh, the chart looks like. Uh, what is uh, interesting here is just about two, three weeks ago, the market was in trouble about to break down there uh, obviously we are not at those levels anymore what it seems like here is that the market found a way to bounce off this uh, line here which was been support going which connects the March lows and uh, 2010 lows so the market did find support here. what is interesting is we are very close now uh, to a breakout so and a breakout is usually something you don't want to get in front of you want to play the upside whenever a market breaks out um, and if it, if it reverses then you can, that should not be what you're looking for but a breakout should always uh, force you to lean along so that's what the market is looking at the market is have already turned around uh, we'll see where how the market behaves in the coming uh, week or so uh, to me, it seems like if the, uh, early next week, the market is going to decide whether these are the intermediate highs or not. In other words, some of the uh, charts are showing potential uh, for a market that wants to pull back a little bit. But as far as the sectors are concerned, some sectors are really on the breakout level. And uh, I'll, I'll share with you those that look very strong. So let's take a look at what let's take a look at the Dow here and Dow, the Dow is one of those that are seemed as of Friday's close seems to be ready to pull back and the reason why I say that is because if you take a look at um, and I think I'll show that pretty much on the hourly and the 30 minute chart on the Dow but on the, see what the Dow industrials looks like there's an opportunity here the market to either consolidate here and break out to fresh 52 week close or stall around here and I'll share, share with you why I think that if you take a look at now the Dow Jones 60 minute chart we see that here we seem to have formed a double top right there and the RSI seems to have seems to be stalling in other words if we walk into uh, the first couple of hours of trading or uh, the trading day on Monday the market pulls back and these highs are gonna be highs for a short term basis uh, because the RSI to me and the MACD seems seem to have turned around as you can see here and here so it might and also notice that the MACD even though the Dow has gone the MACD here seems to be declining on the hourly chart but yet we see prices coming and touching this high so the, the technicals did not follow the price action here so we are back to new back to this level but the technicals are lower so that's telling me that coming into Monday if the market pulls back if the market pulls back then that's going to be that these are intermediate highs for now now let's take a look at the 30 minute chart for the Dow again the same thing you see that the prices came back to these highs here uh, technicals were not as strong as the prior high they see that this high is lower than the prior high even though the price was very close um, and you see that the MACDs have already turned around as in here and here so the MACDs have already turned around Now, what we see here now is if we take a look at the New York Stock Exchange uh, composite and we take a look at the fact that the market is now back to this declining top line which it formed, it has formed over the last couple of months. And this also happens to be an area where on the RSI we stalled at this level here. If you use the turquoise line, which happens to be that high there. And Again, there was a high here which corresponded with this turnaround. The RSI stalled there. Now, the RSI seems to have been stalling or 
showing signs of stalling here, which would suggest this could be a short term low. Also, don't forget that we have now confluence of uh, forces that are opposing each other. We have a declining 50-day um, moving average right there. And on the other hand, we have a 200-day moving average that is pointing higher right there. So we have a declining 50 and an upward trending 200-day moving average. There seems to be a lot of a confusing uh, technicals there. But if the market stalls here early next week, then that's going to suggest that the market has hit short-term lows. If you take a look at the uh, triple Qs, and what you see here is that this market has been trending higher, or has, has broken out this last week. The triple Qs have a breakout on the weekly chart, but the technicals are not following through. So declining technicals as the market is making new highs uh, can sometimes lead to short-term highs. So we need to watch that and see whether the market pulls back from current levels. But now if you consider the one NASDAQ 100 index we are breaking out and the chart is very beautiful. Um, the breakout level market is now above a former breakout or former highs in terms of a closing basis on the monthly. And this, this chart is a beautiful chart. Honestly, at this rate, as long as it remains above this level here, the 24 or 4.08, as long as it remains above this level, this market could be signaling a major breakout. So we also always, that's what I'm saying, we have to play the breakout in this market until otherwise. And we'll keep playing uh, stocks that have uh, great looking charts. But the NASDAQ 100 is showing a tremendous breakout put, uh, possibility. On the flip side, we have uh, the airline index, which is now breaking down. Now, unless it recaptures, it recaptures the, and, and, and can rally from the current levels. Uh, this one looks broken. Uh, it's broken for all intents and purposes. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, this is a daily on the airline index. If you take a look at the daily of the airline index as a, uh, you see that again, we broke down all the, all the moving averages are pointing lower. The 10, the 13, and the 33 month moving averages are pointing lower. Uh, it's not, uh, we see that unless we, we get a, a recovery next week back above this black line which means we need an immediate move that this one seems to be broken any further deterioration in this chart i think to me also signals a market that wants to go down um, that's how i look at it um, this market needs to find support as you can see here on the macd it's breaking down as of last week's close it can either find support here or break down. So we either look at a possibility of a further prices or a sharp recovery. If it breaks down, I think it, the airline index, if it breaks down around here, it's gonna pull, pull the general market lower too. Now if you take a look at the banking index, had a nice week last week. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's still trading below the moving averages. So it's not out of trouble, but I had a nice week, uh, but one week, does not necessarily mean it's out of trouble. You see that the MACDs are also at support or break levels as far as the main MACD is concerned here. You can see we are here we need to find support or break down. So even though they have the, the banking index had a good week, I think it's still not out of trouble. Now we take a look at the banking index from a daily view. From a daily view. And we see really even though we had an, a nice week, uh, all in all what we've done last week is we came back and now we, we are now back at this 50-day moving average. And this 50-day moving average has, has spelled trouble for this market. It was resistance here. Change that. It was resistance for this market here, 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 and now we're back at this level. So. Even though we had a great week, this market is not out of trouble as far as the financial market is concerned because right here, it seems to me that it still has a lot of work to do. It has a lot of work. It needs to uh, move above the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is going to have to find a way to turn around like it did here during this declining area here. It's only until the 50-day moving average finally started moving higher that the market had a good move. 
but as of now, this is a suspicious area where this market has been stalling, so we should not be surprised if it stalls. I'm going to continue this the rest of the video for the subscribers, and I hope to catch you guys uh, next week. Um, Tuesday and Thursdays, you can check out my YouTube channel before the close for uh, free breakout alert. So Tuesday and Thursdays before the close on my YouTube channel, you can uh, check in for a short video, about one minute long, uh, for free uh, breakout ideas. Right now, I'm going to continue this uh, for the subscription portion of the video analysis.